Do you guys see my blanket? It's a pizza. How cool is that? And it's circular. And when you fold it up, it turns into a slice. Oh, oh, quarter of a slice. Slice. Best investment ever. All right. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, I'm gonna move my electronics to the side. I will be discussing you Brighter Toolkit 101. Everything I use for all my clients. And I have a lot of those. A lot of everybody. Yes. I'm not going in any particular order. I'm just gonna be explaining to you guys what I use, how I use it, who do I use it for, um, and if you should buy it or not. But that would kind of defeat the purpose of braiding 101 if I don't. But no, I'm just gonna give you yes, no, maybe so. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know how to explain shit. And somebody said I should try to explain shit because not everybody's a visual person like myself. So I gotta explain this to you the best I can. But I figured by telling you guys how I use these products, what I use them for, kind of minimize some of the questions that I get or some of the repetitive questions I get or not even some of the repetitive questions. It's just more of like, when I was in school, I didn't have anybody teach me how to braid. I kind of had to figure that shit out myself. If you want it bad enough, you'll figure out how to do it yourself. But I figure I had to learn the hard way, but if I could help somebody out at the end of the day, so you guys don't have to do what I had to do trial and error, then boom, let's make it happen. All right, so we are gonna get into the first product in my Gucci goodie bag. It is a blow dryer. Now, uh, with this one in essence, I use the Red by Kiss. It is a handheld blow dryer. That's mainly because I, I don't like a lot of tools and most blow dryers have like a handle on it. And I find it hard to just the hair sometimes. I do hold the hair when I, or I stretch out the hair. A lot of my clients have 4C type hair or curl, tighter curl pattern. So sometimes it makes it hard if I have to hold it by a handle and just, cause I also have to stretch out the hair at the same time just to make sure that the hair is really getting blown dry straight so I can get in there, make some magic. Um, now with this blow dryer, I've gone through three of these already. I don't know if it's because of use, but they have a tendency to blow up. <laughs> I say that by meaning, I mean, it doesn't blow up in your hand like, but it like, it does blow up in essence that it does overheat. It can have a tendency to overheat and just, um, I've had that happen twice now. But that might be different from me to somebody who may not be professional or looking professional, looking to be a professional braider. Um, it has three attachments. I only brought this one. This is my favorite because it has a, a little red thing in the middle to kind of help stretch out the hair as well while I'm blow drying my clients. But it has three attachments. It has a basic one, like another one of these that's just black without the red piece in there. And then it has a concentrator, which is like the little... The one without the teeth and that'll kind of let you get in there in essence and it has three settings um cold low and high always use high high heat really get in there but this is tool number one i highly recommend this one um to blow dry all my clients yes to blow dry all my clients i i typically blow dry about 90% of my clients hair straight first. Um, a lot of my clients have a, excuse me, a tighter curl pattern, a thicker hair texture. You don't need it if you have a straighter hair pattern, um, straighter hair texture, I don't blow dry them. Unless their hair is wet, I don't like wet hair. That's just my preference. I have eczema <laughs> on my fingers, and so constantly dealing with these wet products and washing my hands all the time it just it's not a good mixture so i don't like my clients to have wet hair so let's move on from the blow dryer the next item 
in my goodie bag. I guess I will go in order. Uh, boom. Well, actually, we'll, we'll go with these two. So what I have in here is water and conditioner. It could be a leave-in conditioner. It could be a regular leave-in conditioner. Um, and I mix it with water. Some It's better to blow dry um, curly hair wet. That way you're not ripping the client's hair out or ripping the person's hair out and causing breakage and it's hot and it hurts. Um, it's better to blow dry curly hair a little damp or a little wet. Um, so what I have here, just in case my clients don't book a shampoo, um, what I have here in this water bottle is water and conditioner. I quickly soak it down with this um, or I have a leave-in conditioner. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner, or I like this brand um, in general, Cream of Nature. And I have the whole Pure Honey line. It smells so good. Um, this is actually a spray, a spray leave-in conditioner. I typically use these two together. Hydration is so, 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 so important to me. Your hair is going to be locked up for God knows how long. Some people wear it for... A week some people wear it for two months you know ah it depends on my clients but while their hair is locked up in that process I like for them to have hydrated hair so that is why I go in with both of these this is mainly to help me blow dry but this one I have them have a base because you don't want dry hair that's gonna cause breakage that could further damage the hair Your client could have more fallout than they need to have and you don't want that Hydration is key. Curly hair is naturally dry. It's naturally dry. That's how it was created. Now we do have hydration products like so. Um, but it's very important to me that my clients, the integrity of their hair is hydrated. I don't want them to come back, my hair's falling out. Cause no, we don't want that. We can't have that. That would put me out of business. <laughs> we can't have that. So hydration is key. You can all try your different methods, do different things. I know some people just like to just wash, shampoo, and condition all their clients. I don't necessarily have time for that all, or I wouldn't be getting everybody in that I could in a day. So like I said, this holy grail. Love it. Love this. All right. Now let us get into some products. As you guys may know, I am in partnership or cahoots with the Edge Effect brand. Where is your logo? We'll go with this one. Edge Effect brand. Yes, I love them to death. I actually, in my beginning braiding process, I actually went to the store because I was working in a barber shop at the time. This was actually almost two years ago. I moved to Florida August of... 20, what do you think, 2019? 2018, August of 2018 is when I moved to Florida. I moved to Florida in August of 2018, August 26th to be exact was the day I got here. So, I went to school that year, finished off. I got my, I went to barber school when I got here. So I got my barber license in December and I started officially working in a barber shop in November of 2018. Bounced around a little bit but got to my home barber shop now 2019 March. So I've been there for quite over a year now, almost two years. So with that being said, I definitely didn't start braiding professionally until that November, so November 2018. And when that came, I had no knowledge, no experience. It was just kind of like, oh, I see this braider use this, let me try this. Oh, I see this braider use this, let me try this. But that's where the trial and error came from. And I went into my local beauty supply store one day and I actually found Edge Effect brand. It was in a smaller container, but I was like, hmm. The consistency, and I'll show you guys it. This one's new nails okay I don't want to all right ah, this is exactly what I don't want to do all right it smells so good too guys like I always buy this one because I love the way it smells so 
with this being said if you can see it this is more of a thick thick gel this is not necessarily an edge I mean it is an edge control it is an edge control gel so what that means is it goes on pretty thick it's like a it's not jiggly jelly it's not very movable in essence once you put it on there it's there it's not going to move it's not going to go anywhere but with these you have to be careful if you use too much product like i did in the beginning it can turn the hair white just product buildup in general can turn the hair white and you don't want that because you'll get complaints like i did and i didn't want that so but this brand is so good. I tried them one day and I loved it. All my clients told me their hair lasted for three weeks or longer. And I was like, what? It still looks good after three weeks? That's cool. So I instantly fell in love with their brand. They have multiple flavors. Um, by flavors, I mean the scents and stuff. They smell so good. It's finally a product that smells so good, by the way, too. Multiple um, scents. They also just released their... BTL line which stands for braiding twist and locks this one is actually very similar to this one it has more of an oil base but it does the same thing it has the same consistency it's very um it's a thicker one Jeez. I should have opened these before I brought them home don't do that oh and they smell good they smell yummy they have two so this is a part of their traditional line they released a handful at first there's a white there's a green there's a pink there's a blue there's a yellow but um this was a part of the original they started making larger quantities for people like myself who go through i think i go through one of these with about three people three or four people depending on the style um and then they released this their BTL line and guys oh my gosh I love these so with that being said about these products I use these pretty much um, for these this one I use for um, curlier hair textures so if it's thick 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 and curly I used to use this one plainly malfunction let me close these I used to use this one for my my um, 4C clients and my curly hair clients just because it was a product that held their hair in place and put it where I needed to be, made my lines very crisp and precise without actually reverting. There's been a few products I've used in my trial and error products where the product will, after a certain period of time, it will cause the hair to revert back to its curly stage, which is what I didn't need it to do because then it causes my lines to look less sharp curls are more likely to stick out the style wouldn't last as long and my clients didn't like that and I didn't like it either I'm not dissing these products but it's just it wasn't made for curly hair these products this one and this one I can get away with I use these on curly clients too but I can get away in using these ones on my uh, straight less curl pattern type clients this one is a level four hold this one smells just as good it's the same one as um it's in the same line as this one this one's a level five hold so this one i'm more likely to use on my kid clients my clients with straighter hair loose curl patterns thinner hair textures it doesn't have it's not it doesn't make it any less of a hold in my opinion from what i found it just it it has a little more slippage to it so it's not as tight as this one, if that makes sense. Um, so these two products, I love to death. They're amazing. I will leave links below in the comments on how you can buy them, where you can pick them up, their Instagram, my Instagram. But these products are holy grail. I highly, highly, strongly recommend them. Same thing, like I said before, they're a thicker consistency, very thick. But it does not, it will not leave the hair white at all. Like, at all. Like, I use these, my clients love them. I actually had a client buy a jar from me the other day because she was like, I need this. It smells so yummy. It smells so great, guys. Like, I tell you, your hair will be smelling like candy. Straight up. <laughs> and once, oh, let me go over this product. So, this product.
product, Style Factor. Style Factor is another braiding brand I highly recommend. Now, they have two in their line. I only have one right now because I ran out the other one. But they have two, two separate types of their line. Now, this one is a gel. This one is a little more jiggly, like a jello. That's how you know what kind of, that's how I determine what hair texture it's gonna be going for. These ones smell amazing as well. Oh my gosh, they smell just like fruit. Um, this is more of a gel. Here's my rule of thumb. If it jiggles like jello, it's not for curly hair. Mm -mm. Not for curly hair at all. I use this on my straight hair clients. It has, let me, let me think, how do I want to say this? It, it goes on very slippery. And as a rule of thumb, you want to be able to braid straight hair with a slippery base just because straighter hair has a finer hair texture. Usually, sometimes, sometimes, um, has a finer hair texture in the counts that I have experienced than curlier hair. And with that, if I'm using um, something like this where I would only use on curly hair clients, to braid somebody with straight hair they might are more likely to have hair bumps um itching all that good stuff that typically comes with braiding but it's more likely to come within the first few days if i were to braid a straight haired client with this product now this one is a little more slippery like i said and that gives way with some of the tension that they might um feel or the discomfort but at the same time it has it dries it dries very quickly so with that being said it won't leave like a greasy or wet residue it'll kind of lock it in like a cement almost without being that hard so this one is good for straight hair they have a line um called i think it's a lock it's called like a retwist and lock gel i use that one for braiding it has the same consistency as this one it smells amazing as well um, but it has that one I would use for uh, braiding curlier hair. This one I would use for braiding straight hair. This has a whole line by itself. This one I started purchasing in the beginning before um, this company reached out to me. So, but these two brands, ideal for braiding. I love them to death. I highly recommend this one. Like I said, straight hair, if it jiggles like jello, curl your hair if it doesn't move at all. all right. So this brings me to what happens when I finish my braid style. Now, um, everybody has their own technique, their own different stuff, what they like to do whenever they finish the style, but me personally, this is what I do. I know you guys probably seen on Instagram, braiders wiping white shit <laughs> all over the braids. And you're like, what the hell is that? What does it do? That's what this comes in for. This is actually also part of the BTL line. It is a foam wrap lotion or a setting lotion. This goes on immediately after you finish the braid style. This is, if you ask anybody who gets braids, this is their favorite part. I hear that all the time. Like, oh my God, that feels so good. Or, oh, that feels so wonderful. Oh, this is my favorite part. Like, oh my gosh. But what this does is it's going to seal. It's gonna basically anything in the hair it's gonna cause um i explained that weird let me let me okay what this does is once you finish the braid style it adds an extra layer of protection so any potential hairs that may have come loose not like loose loose in the braid but like tiny flyaways tiny flyaways are very common in in certain um hair textures and stuff like that any hairs that come loose um just an added extra layer of protection that's what this is for so what i do is i seal it in with this then um i actually go in with an oil too so i use the do grow anti-itch because it's inevitable your braids are going to itch after a week or so you're going to get the itch the itch is uncomfortable but you can actually pick up some of this from your local beauty supply store but i always, always get the anti-itch to kind of just help out with the itch that may or may not occur when you leave the chair um 
but what I do is I go on with this first and then I use this in the cracks cracks the parts so anywhere where the parts are I just go on with this real quick and then I add a do-rag on top of my clients and blow dry it blow dry it because you want it to seal on top um I've seen people do it without the do-rag sometimes I do it without the do-rag but it's better to do it with the do-rag on top of your client blow dry it so it kind of seals in um, the cracks seals in any flyaway hairs just seals everything together for our final final and total look so that's what I use these two products for fantastic together now I'm gonna go and talk about this this I also use at times too when I feel like this may not be necessary um, this isn't always necessary guys. I know everybody uses it for every style, but I don't always use this for every style. You can actually use a setting lotion as well. Same thing, same process. You'll spray it all over the hair. You can go back in with the oil, you know, just make sure everything's set. And then do the same process. You know, blow dry it, make sure everything's sealed together. It's all about preference when it comes to stuff like this. So, take your pick, explore. There's no right or wrong way to do your braids. You're all learning. You're all figuring it out. I'm just providing a little insight. All right. What's next in my goodie bag? Oh, how could I forget the handy dandy combs? Yes, people, we got some combs. All right. So, I know I always get compliments on my parting. Yes, my parting. I take pride in my partings. I like straight lines. I like cleanliness. That's probably where my OCD comes into play really well. But with parting. So this is my favorite ultimate parting comb um, courtesy of Edge Effect brand. They specially made this color for me. I am so appreciative of it. They were like, it's so pink. But I'm like, guys, this is red. This is red like I requested. I love this comb so much. This comb is basically the number one tool. If you don't have any other tool in this little toolbox I provided for you, this is your best friend. So, with that being said, this comb, I actually have it tattooed on my arm. It doesn't have a little hump at the top, but this comb is the OG comb. But this comb, it has actual a little parting tool. So, when I am doing hair, I initially, most styles, I think about 90% of the styles I do, I go in with the middle part section. And with the middle part, I always start the initial part with the metal part of the comb. What the metal part of the comb is going to do, compared to this, every, every braider has their preference, but this, compared to this, is a lot more sturdier and it has, um, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, it has a finer tip than this. So this is able to pick up, grab, and move hair out the way without scratching the surface of your client's scalp. But this is what I do to make the initial part. And then, after I make the initial part, I always go in with edge control straight down the part. And then I use the actual sectioning part of the comb to go in, go in with the uh, part that I just created. And that's how you get an HD part. This is just going to pick, pick up any hairs out the way that may have gotten when you parted it and put the edge control on. But you go back in with this. This is your ultimate parting comb. I love this comb to death. You guys need this comb. You can pick up any comb like this from the um, Edge Effect website. Or you can go to your local beauty supply store and get a braiding parting comb. Now. I know you guys, if you guys are watching this video, guys have probably seen me braid hair. And you guys notice I braid hair with a comb. This is, I use a regular rat tail plastic comb. Simply because I cannot section hair with, or part, what is that called? Braid the hair with this comb just because I feel like it doesn't pull the hair up tight enough as I need it for the tension. So I always use a rat tail comb. Um, this one's just a simple, like, I got two of these for a dollar. So you can pick these up in any beauty supply store. Um, but this is the comb I use for braiding with the comb. Switching braiding with the comb. Um, this is just my preference, you know. I just always prefer this comb. This has no real meaning, I guess. 
Um, this is just my personal preference if you decide to braid with a comb or if you use a comb. This is the comb that I use. You might decide that you can braid hair with this comb. If you can do that, cool. But I, I can't. I found it very difficult to braid with this comb. So I braid with just a regular rat tail comb. Which is also a good way if you see the um the teeth are very fine. They are close together. This will allow you to get in there and smooth all the hairs out when you're doing your sectionings and stuff like that. You can just use this comb to brush the hair. Um, but yeah, so these are my two holy grail combs. I don't do a style without these combs. I have two combs in every style. Literally, like I put this one down to after I section and then I use this one to braid. After I finish the braid, I put this one down and I use this one to resection. So I use these two combs in every style I do, hands down. Which brings me to my final brush. This, my friends, is an edgy brush. If you don't have one, you could be old school and use a toothbrush. That's fine, because I use a toothbrush in the beginning, too. My clients would think I was crazy whipping on a toothbrush. Like, what you about to do with that? By the lady edges. But no, so this is an edge brush. It's a little more just, it's a little more appealing to the eye, if you will, um, than a toothbrush. But it does the same thing. It has very fine bristles, fine, very close together bristles, and allows you to get in there and swoop them edges to the guides just um and it also has a comb piece i i don't really use this side unless it's to kind of like i know you've seen the girls like do the edges and then put that little part in there that's what i use that part for <laughs> i don't really use this side either i just mainly use this one but this is just good for your edges good for them edges yes just um uh, and lastly a beautiful edge scarf um you can actually pick this up from edge effect too edge effect brand is basically your number one or number two scratch it they are a very good braiding company they cater to braiders twisters anybody who specializes in natural hair they got you like they have everything like i literally can probably do my whole shopping from there to be honest like i could just check out and not have to worry about going to the beauty supply store for anything to be honest but I am a barber too so I need stuff from the barber store so with that being said after I do edges so after I use this and use this to do edges um I put this on usually my clients who get their edges done have a natural like a um, protective hairstyle so it'll be like my female clients who get the weave added and stuff like that I usually do the edges first before I put the setting lotion on the hair and before I dip the hair to give it time to set and everything. But honestly, when you're at home and you lay them edges, all you need is a scarf. And I promise you guys, like this scarf, your edges ain't going nowhere. This scarf is going to lay your hair down and it's silk too. It's silk, so it's not going to cause any friction, cause your edges to fly up later. But no, this scarf, guys, it's a must. Plus. Even if you just want to wear the scarf as a cute little headband or something, guys, they have more colors. They have lots of prints and stuff like this, but I highly recommend this scarf. Um, I think that is pretty much it for my toolbox. I recommend this gel for doing your edges too. Um, it has, it dries hard. It dries hard. Your edge is not going to be moving. Um, this one has an oilier base. They do dry hard after a few minutes but my only hang up with that is that like I said it has like a oiler base so if you have a curly hair unless you are laying the hair immediately it might um, loosen back up and curl a little bit um, so if you don't want that then this one is your your friend this one you need to use but this is my toolbox this is pretty much what I use with every single client every single day unless I have a haircut client and I can get in that into another video but this is my braiding toolbox if you have and of course oh how can I forget of course how can I forget rubber bands yes as you can see I use this one much because it's fading but you can get this from the beauty supply store it basically comes in a thousand five hundred one hundred whatever you need 
they're small little I have clear ones mixed in here too but they're basically small little black rubber bands you put on the end of your styles sometimes I double mine up because I know some clients wear their styles a little bit longer and they can snap because they're plastic um, but these necessary you guys need them rubber bands honestly this is like a dollar ninety nine from the beauty supply store and this is a thousand this lasts me probably about two months before I gotta go get more so rubber bands and I think that is it for my toolbox so yeah that is it for my toolbox the only other things that I pretty much use apparently is like little gold clips and my why did it automatically stop when did it stop <sighs> no guys my camera died and nobody told me I'm over here talking to myself for about 10 minutes like what the hell Anyways, that was all in my toolbox, guys. If you let me know if you have any more questions in the comments below. You can DM me on Instagram. I'm always... Look, guys, I answer my DMs. So don't let the number fool you. I answer my DMs. I may not answer it immediately because sometimes you guys text me when I'm with a client. And my client time is very important to me. But I answer my DMs. So if you DM me with a question, I'm going to answer it. I promise. But let me know if you have any more questions. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys don't want to see. Let me know what you guys want more in depth on the products that I use, what I don't use, anything like that. Um, Just let me know, guys. I'm here for you. I got you. I'm your girl. I'm going to let you know. I figured this shit out already. If you're starting off, look, I got you. We're going to figure this shit out together. Pinky promise. But thank you. That was it. Thank you guys for watching. Um yeah don't be afraid to leave a comment about this video what you like what you didn't like what you want to see more of um and subscribe you know what i'm saying subscribe to my channel please please i appreciate you guys so much the ones who did subscribe already but thank you guys for the love i appreciate you guys and um uh, see you next time Gotta clean up this mess. Gotta clean up this mess. Gotta take this shit back to work. Ugh. I'm gonna call this Hannah G's toolbox. I think I broke something. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Y'all ever just need a ring light for your life? Like, I was looking at myself in the camera and I was like, <laughs> excuse me, this lighting look pretty amazing. Like, I just need a ring light in my face at all times so I just look permanently cute. Is that just me? Alright.